Hi guys, this is Sushant Kuchar. Today we are going to talk about how muscle mass increases or decreases BMR. Uh, so first of all, uh, if you don't know what BMR is, basal metabolic rate, uh, if you don't know what lean muscle mass is, if you don't know what fat percentage is, what fat mass is, then you can go check my previous videos out. I have talked about BMR, lean muscle mass, fat mass, fat percentages and how to calculate BMR, how to calculate fat percentage in my previous videos. You can search uh, my previous videos on my channel or you can search whatever you want to with my name on YouTube. So for example, if you want to search about lean muscle mass, you can type Sushant Kocher space lean, Sushant space Kocher space lean muscle mass. So you will get my videos on lean muscle mass. Okay, so I am not going to repeat what I have already talked about. You can go check the previous videos out. So, in the previous videos, I told you according to Sterling Passmore equation, BMR is 13.8 into lean muscle mass in pounds. Okay. So, we will take an example of a person who has weight of 80 kgs, fat percentage of 15%, fat mass of 12 kgs. How did we come with the fat mass of 12 kgs? Uh, so, 15% of 80 is 12. So he had fat percentage, body fat percentage of 15%. So, 8 plus 4, 12. So, the total fat in the body is 12 kilograms. Now, when we deduct this, uh, when we subtract this fat mass from the total weight, what is left is called as lean muscle mass, which comes out to be 80 minus 12, 68 kgs. Now, uh, someone asked me in the comments uh, that why would, uh, do I uh, use 80 kgs or 100 kgs? See the weight or these are just an uh, this is just an example. I take uh, 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 numbers divisible by ten like 80, 100, so that it, uh, the calculation becomes easier for you. If I take the weight of 65 with a fat percentage of 20, then you would have to calculate uh, okay 52 kilograms of lean muscle mass. So it would not be divisible by 10, so not so easy the calculation. So this is just an example. You can take whatever value you like. Okay, so this guy has lean muscle mass of 68 kgs. So his BMR comes out to be, according to this formula, 13.8 into 68 into 2.2. So we converted 68 kgs into pounds. So 1 kilogram has 2.2 pounds. So we multiplied it by 2.2 uh, approximately. 2.2 uh, pounds. So uh, this, this formula has lean muscle mass in pounds. So, we got the number of 2064 calories. Now this person um, gains weight by exercising in the gym and he gains some muscle and some fat within let's say one year. Now his new weight is 95 kgs and his, he checks his new body fat percentage and it comes out to be 20%. So now 20% uh, of 95 kgs would be 9.5 plus 9.5, 19 kilograms. So that is the fat mass in his body. Remaining uh, weight, uh, 95 minus 90, 76 kilograms is the lean muscle mass. Now what he has gained as muscle is, uh, his new muscle mass is 76 and earlier it was 68. So he has gained 8 kilograms of muscle. Now he has 19 kilograms of fat in his body. Earlier he had 12 kilograms, so he has gained 7 kilograms of fat. 8 plus 7 total 15 kilograms of body weight. 95 minus 80. Okay, so on his new lean muscle mass of 76, his new BMR is 13.8 into 76 into 2.2. 76 uh, converting 76 into pounds by multiplying it by 2.2. Now it comes out to be 2307. So the change in BMR by gaining of 8 kilograms of muscle is 2307 minus 2064 is earlier BMR, which is 243 calories. So gaining 8 kilograms of muscle, he uh, his BMR uh, went up by 243 calories. Uh, if he uh, had gained 1 kilogram of muscle, then his BMR would have gone up by 30.36 uh, uh, calories. Uh, how do we get that number exactly? So this would not exactly be 31.36. Uh, that is why here is my approximate sign because I have uh, omitted the decimals from here for the sake of easy to understand, for the sake of making it easier to understand. So BMR um, has this formula: 13.8 into lean muscle mass in pounds. 
Now this is like 13.8 into lean muscle mass in kgs into 2.2. That will be found. So uh, multiplying 13.8 by this 2.2, 30.36 into lean muscle mass in kgs. So let's say uh, you uh, someone had 50 kilograms of lean muscle mass, and when it becomes 51, you add 30.36 to the BMR. So basically, when you gain one kilogram of muscle, you add 30.36 to your BMR. Uh, if you lose one kilogram of muscle, you uh, subtract uh, 30.36 from your BMR. So for example, your BMR was 1500, is 1500 and you gained one kilogram of muscle. So your new BMR would be 1530.36. If you lost one kilogram of muscle, your new BMR would be 1500 minus 30.36. So this was to explain uh, BMR, if you like the video, this was to explain how muscle mass can change your BMR. Um, if you like the video, please like, comment and share. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.